Do you know how to wire in a three-way switch? I'm gonna show you how. Give it up. All right, so today we're wiring in some three-way switches. What you'll need is two three-way switches and they are specific three-way switches. You can't take a standard switch and make it into a three-way. So the first thing, this is a dimmer, uh, dimmable three-way, which means if I, I'll be able to dim it here and I can turn it on over there and I can turn it off over there, but unless I put another dimmer, I can only dim it on one side, which is gonna be this side coming into the bed. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, have you a bucket because when you, when you strip all this, you want to you don't want to have to clean up after yourself any more than you have to. You'll start, this is a 12-3. This uh, is what you'll have to have to make for a three-way. You have to have a traveler over to that wire. So you can't just run a 12-2 in, a 12-2 over, and a 12-2 out. You gotta run a 12-2, 12-3, or you can go 14. Some people, a lot of people do 14. I do 12 because the price difference is not that much. Plus, I don't have to, worry, oh, I'm gonna run the white wire here, uh, the right wire here, it's just run the wire. So anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is skin these out just like we do anything else. Once you have them uh, skinned out, you want know, about three inches outside of the box. Now on a triple game like this, you can give yourself a little bit more in the, for the wire that has to, for the switch that has to come to this feathers point. This is our power in. This is our traveler coming from this box to our other three-way over there. And uh, so you see, I'm gonna have three switches. I have to power uh, three separate things. So um, this one, which is for our cam lights, is a three-way. This goes to our hallway, a three-way, and there's gonna be a chandelier in the middle of the room. That's just a standard switch but we have to power all three of these. So the first thing we want to do is take our, we'll go ahead and put all of our commons together off of all of these wires, which is our white wire. We'll go ahead and put all of them together. We'll go ahead and put all of our grounds together and then just leave our hots and our red wire stubbed up. So I'm gonna do that. So once we've got them all skinned out, we went ahead and twisted our uh, grounds together so they're all together. Now we'll take all of our commons and we'll put them together. Now I'm actually using today, I'm using these little push pins instead of wire nuts. I'm just kind of want to try them out. All you do is push them in. Yeah, now we got those connected. I like to go ahead and push all this junk, get it back there in the very back out of our way. And what we end up with is the two I've cut short. This is our power in and our three way. So now you're gonna take your power in and you need to make jumpers. You need three jumpers coming out. So it'll, you'll need, if you're using push pins, a four part push pin connector. So what we're gonna do is what is called a, uh, a pigtail is what some people call it, I guess, you know, I don't know if there's a technical term. I've always called it a pigtail. But we're gonna go ahead and skin our wires for our three-way. And what you're gonna need is a length of wire somewhere around about four inches, something like that. Skin both sides, all right. And then according to what Three-way we have, the one I've got, I've got two different ones. The one with the dimmer, you can actually push them in straight like a GFI. The other one doesn't, actually does have that option. So yeah, we're just gonna push them both in straight. All right, so here is our uh, power in. So we're gonna put our connector on there. Then we need a technical power out to our three-way switch. So we add in our pigtail. We take from that pigtail, we're going with our dimmer switch here. So we take our dimmer switch, the power in, there will be two same colored 
and one off color. So on this one, they're red and a black. Usually the black's the common, but on this one, it's, it's got a black and it's got two gold color. That's important. The black is your power in, power out. So here is our power in. We're gonna put it right here on our, on our black stud. And then for our three-way, that's with the two other color. And it doesn't matter, red or black, what you put on one, as long as it's the same color of studs. So we're gonna put black on, on one. And we're gonna put red on the other. All right, I'm gonna bring in here close so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. See here, it's our black stud. That is our power in. And then our traveler, which is our three-way wire, is these two, it's the red on this one. They're gold on a lot of them. But you see this is our three-way wire, our red and our black out of, out of our 12-3. It's on this side. So let's go to the other box and wire the other switching. This is the one with the damper. Let's go. So here we're on our other side. This is our can light, which is our 12-3 coming from our three, uh, triple gang box over there. And then this is our can light, can light power out. So we want to skin them too. This is a, not even something we're worried about right now. It goes to the outside lights. So we'll skin these. We want to go ahead. We're going to leave our two grounds long for now. But we're going to go ahead and give our three inches on these two, which is our power to our cans and our, th our three-way. And just a little quick tip on twisting two wires together. You want to get them about the same length. And then you can take your drill, put them both in your drill, tighten up on it. Once it tightens up, twist them up, loosen them. Look at there, quick and easy and cut them off where you want them. And I like to go ahead and fold him up in there. All right, now what we're gonna do is take our three-way and go ahead and skin. Actually, we'll go ahead and skin all of our wires, about three quarters of an inch back. Once they're skinned back, as you see, as you see, Here's our black wire, I mean our black stud, a gold stud, a gold stud. Which means we're gonna take our commons and they're just gonna go put together. And then we're gonna take what is our 12-3 coming from our other box. We're gonna put it on our gold studs. And once again, doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter which gold stud gets which one. There we go. And then this is our power out to our can lights. This is the one that actually goes up to the lights. He is gonna go on our black stud here. There. Now all we have to do is test him and set our switches. All right, now all that's left, we just turned our breaker back on. We wanna check our switch. Our lights come on. Let's get a look at them. See our four lights. And we come to our dimmable three-way here. Turn him, he'll turn off, turn it back on, and we check our dimmer here. Oh yeah, awesome. So there you go, folks. That is how you wire up a three-way switch. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, give me a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything else we're doing. Till next time, keep making dust.